Plastic pollution is an issue that plagues both our health and our environment. This project aims to raise awareness of it. This is how I made a mural out of everyday plastic pieces. First, I got a 4 foot by 4 foot piece of wood and then removed the label. Then I cleaned it off. Once that was done, I primed the wood with two coats of white paint. Afterwards, I drew on a grid with the vertical lines labeled with numbers and the horizontal lines with letters. Then I created a design of how I wanted the mural to look and placed the same grid on it. This was so that I could easily sketch out my design on the wood. I then collected all of my plastic items and washed them thoroughly. I laid out the items on my wood, and this was very important, since I ended up not liking the layout and was able to change it. Then the painting begins. I started to lay down the caps and drill them to the wood. It's also important that you remember to paint over the screws. Additionally, make sure you have extra caps before starting the project, since they can be easily destroyed. For the sky, I was unsure of what pattern I should do, so I laid out a sketch over different patterns. I like the crisscross pattern. So I cut pieces of milk carton to the same sizes, at about 9 by 5 inches each. This is how the arrangement ended up looking. Then I stapled all of the pieces down. Since I didn't like the white tint of the plastic pieces, I painted over them to match the sky. Then I cut the size of water bottles to the same size, and layered them on top of each other. I then stapled them to the turtle skin. For the plastic bag on the mural, I made a logo and attached it to the caps. Since the sand was still empty, I used a hole puncher to get pieces of sand from egg cartons. Then I glued them onto the mural. For this project, I wanted to make a sample of all of the plastic pieces I used. This was also useful since I ended up using it to test the resin on. First, I drilled down all of the items. Then, I labeled where they were in the mural. As you can see, I used the ends and sides of water bottles, as well as a laundry detergent cap, to create the turtle. For the sky, I used the milk cartons, and also used bottle caps for the Girl Scouts logo. For the ocean, I use the ends of mushroom cartons. Then, we use the sample to make sure that placing resin on top of the mural wouldn't damage any of the plastic pieces. For the resin, we first measured equal parts hardener and resin, then mixed it. Then, we poured it over the sample and used a torch to take out any bubbles. Now, we'll begin the resin phase of the mural. This was my setup. We measured all of the resin we needed and mixed it with the hardener. Then, we began pouring the resin over the mural. We 
also made sure to level all of it and torch out any bubbles. This is how the mural looked once the resin fully dried. Then I wanted to place my signature on the mural, so I practiced embossing on a scrap piece of resin. First, I drew out my name with an invisible marker. Then I poured embossing powder over it and took out the excess. Finally, I used a heat gun to emboss it fully. Then, I repeated those steps on the mural. Since the mural was a museum exhibit, I made an infographic to go with it. I first painted the background, then used parmesan cheese caps to make flaps where I could put information. Can you guess the number of plastic pieces in the ocean? If you guessed 5 trillion, you're right. How about the number of plastic bags used every minute? The answer is 2 million. And the worst part? 91% of all plastic isn't recycled. Then, I embossed the letters on the infographic. I also added mounting hardware so that I could hang it. And here's the final product! To finish up the project, we went to the Girl Scout Museum of History. We tethered a cord to the mural and hung it up on the wall. If you're ever at the Girl Scout Museum, make sure to check it out. My name is Miriam L. Sharkaway, and the Plastic Pollution Solution Organization has been created for my Gold Award. Thanks for watching!